We're more apologetic about it. We're more like, yeah. listen, we just want to come in and say you did a great uh, uh, show. Yeah. We're not going to get in your way. We don't want to do anything. Listen, I wouldn't, listen, I'm, I wouldn't so make much. an announcement or try and reach them. I usually just want to be like everybody else and just watch the show and, and bounce, you know. So and I will tweet them afterwards if I really like the show. I'll tweet them. And then maybe they might DM and go, oh, you should have come and said along. That happened out in Vegas when like, but generally, no, I just want to be in the audience and be like everybody else. Oh, it's one of those things that you do kind of have to spark off organic uh, friendships, or it's hard to get in the studio and write a song together, you know, if you don't really know each other. So. Yeah, you can't really force those. No, it's weird because no, you're kind of you're, you're, you're opening then. your diary to someone you don't know. <laughs> it's it's yeah. a bit weird. The best things that happen are usually organic. They just arrive. You don't try and call someone up and force yourself on them. It's always like you meet them, and we end up meet, meeting in a, in a lounge in an airport, and that's kind of usually a conversation. And then it's like let's hook up, and, and that's what happens. I can't remember who uh, the, exactly the artist it was, but they were on a radio show basically complaining about all of the things that regular normal gen Joe Sopers would love to do. It was like, can you believe that I've been, you know, I've been back and forth to LA this time like yeah. 17 times this year. You know, all the flying, all the traveling, you know, I mean, it's crazy, you know, paparazzi's in my face. Like, regular people, you know, bite their arm off to be in your positions. Yeah.